Here's a quick overview of the LM317 adjustable current source that I designed. The 317 regulator has three terminals, the input, the output and what's called the adjustment terminal. And in normal operation the LM317 adjusts its output until the voltage between the adjustment terminal and the output terminal is 1.25 volts. So for example you can make a voltage regulator as follows V out at 0 volts down there that's V in we connect the adjustment terminal to a resistive divider between V out and 0 volts and if that's R1 and R2 the voltage across R1 will be R1 over R1 plus R2 times V out. Rearranging that we get V out is equal to 1 plus R2 over R1 times VR1. VR1 is held constant at 1.25 volts by the LM317 so V out is simply 1.25 into 1 plus R2 over R1. So what do we do if we want to make a constant current source instead of a constant voltage source? We again have our 317 input, output and adjustment terminals. This time we put a resistor in series with the output and we connect the adjustment terminal to there. If that's R, again the 317 will adjust its output until the voltage between the adjustment terminal and the output is 1.25 volts. But that appears across the series resistor so therefore the current flowing must be the voltage which is 1.25 volts over R which is a constant current source. Now the more useful variant of this is an adjustable constant current source which is what's described on the web page. So again we've got our 317 I'll draw this slightly smaller so I can try and fit it all in with a series resistor on the output there's another fixed resistor here going to a potentiometer which then goes back to the adjustment terminal Let's call these R1, R2, and the total resistance of that we'll call R3. Now, this rather unusual configuration here is a derivative of the grounded wiper potentiometer configuration. For more on this, see the link in the description down below. If we simplify the resistors around here a little, that's equivalent to R1, R2 again, and X, R3, with that being the output terminal and that being the adjustment terminal. X denotes the fraction of the wiper position of the potentiometer from 0 up to 1. 
The 317 ensures that the voltage between the output and the adjustment terminal is 1.25 volts. So it therefore ensures the voltage across R2 is 1.25 volts. Because R2 and XR3 form a resistive divider, the voltage across R1 is XR3, sorry, 1 plus XR3 over R2 times 1.25 volts. Therefore, the current through R1 will be 1.25 divided by R1 into 1 plus X R3 over R2. So, by varying R3, sorry, by varying the potentiometer, we vary X from 0 to 1. So we can vary the output current anywhere from 1.25 over R1 I'm in is 1.25 over R1 and I max is 1 plus R3 over R2 times 1.25 over R1. This provides a linear adjustment range and also ensures if the wiper loses contact with the potentiometer track that the output is forced low. This is a feature of the grounded wiper configuration. So in a practical application, such as a laser diode driver, let me zoom in a little so you can see the values here. Okay. We've got a 10 ohm series resistor and a 220 plus 500 ohm potentiometer. So this will let us vary the current anywhere from 1.25 divided by 10, which is 125 milliamps, up to 500 divided by 220 plus 1 times 125, 400 milliamps. So anywhere from 125 to about 400 milliamps. This is designed for a 300 milliamp 300 milliwatt laser diode which normally operates at 300 milliamps so the adjustment range is, is ideal for that. Okay, hope that was interesting. 317s are great for adjustable current sources. Uh, thanks for watching.